Well, hey friends, it's Mary, and welcome back to my channel, Ancestral Beginnings. So today I am going to do a little um, art project. I can't even say it's really a uh, journal page because I'm just going to do it right here on um, cardboard. And... Um, you know, I've done this quite a bit in the past, and it's always fun. I love the texture of cardboard. Um, so, yeah, it, it'll be uh, pretty quick and easy. So, I've got some um, old uh, paper book pages here, and I like to put my excess paint on it. So, I'm going to do that. Um you know off to the side and I'm gonna cut this up um, or tear it if I can manage it um, you know we'll just see where it takes me today um, I'm gonna just kind of go with the flow try to make it easy try to make it simple on myself um, and just kind of relax and no expectations let's just see what happens so um yeah here i'm gonna tear it i'm gonna tear it into there and choose which piece i want trying it had kind of like two layers so i am splitting those layers apart Figuring out which one I want. And then, of course, I don't want it a perfect square. Um, I love the uh, corrugated part that sticks out there a little bit. Gives that some extra texture like that. Um, I've got this fast-forwarded a bit because, you know... It, sometimes it's just um, a little daunting to watch a video in real time. Um, we're all very busy people, and um, so I'm try. I try to, uh, you know, keep out some of the the boring stuff. So I'm just laying down. I just laid down some gesso, Liquitex gesso. Didn't like the brush marks, so I went back over with more with my finger to kind of smooth it out. Give a little base um, to the cardboard. That allows me to lay down other mediums and, uh, you know, so it doesn't just all absorb in there. So I'm looking at, I've got, I'm showing you what I've got. Got some papers here and I've got an old yearbook clippings there that I'm going to consider using. I've got a box here of all kinds of, um, mostly papers, um, mainly papers, just a few scraps of fabric in there. Um, so just got that at the ready and I'm pulling out this real um, thin, I think this was a jelly print on deli paper and I'm going to go ahead and um, just tear that up and put some pieces down, kind of no rhyme or reason. Just laying some color down as opposed to doing paint or whatever. Um, this paper gives you a little bit more texture to the piece at the end. Um, yeah, so just uh, grabbing some, that's a, like a map that I painted on. Pretty good stash of painted papers, jelly print papers. Um, I do have a jelly plate, and that's always fun to do. So 
just laying down the papers there and I hope everybody's having a great day um, make sure you carve out time for yourself to relax whatever that may be whatever hobby it is you really have to take care of yourself and um, you know with my reselling business oh there's some golden um, oh gosh I forget what it's called um, quinacridone azo gold or something like that that's golden fluid acrylics so laying that down it was really thick um, it's old so I had to uh, spread it around myself with my finger <laughs> Just kind of mopping up the excess um, wetness, drying it. Got to have some coffee, guys. Always drink coffee in the morning. So this is some Tim Holtz washi tape. And I love Tim Holtz washi tape. It is the best. This is like a calendar with um, the months and the days on it. Love numbers. So. I'm pulling out some other papers. Just trying to look and see what I like. Now this catches my eye. It says, according to our books, this account is now past due. May we have your remittance? Sometimes I kind of think uh, life says that to us. So it just stuck with me. So I'm going to cut it out. Setting that off to the side for right now. More coffee. Yay for coffee. Decide to go with some Liquitex acrylic ink in magenta. Nope, I take that back. It's a uh, Dr. Martin's India ink. In magenta and India ink is permanent so it's a great it's a great one to use next up I'm using portfolio oil pastels and this I'm using cerulean it's kind of a greenish blue Just kind of making some squiggly marks and some of them I you know push in or smudge a bit wanted to bring back um, some more white lighten it up a bit in areas of course I love how the white how it skips over the corrugated part I think that's really cool So guys, I, I would hope if you like um, my art style, everybody's different, but if you like this art style, I'd really um, love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm going to get 
I'm going to start doing more art videos, get back to what I used to do, and um, I'm still doing the reselling. I'm just taking a break from my Thursday night sales. So here I'm taking a black oil pastel and I'm just making some dots just for some interest. So I'd appreciate it too if you'd give this video a like. Give me a comment. Let me know if you like this. Um, what you like, what you want to see. Um, so, you know, this is my first time getting back to making art in quite a long time, you guys. So, so here's a piece of fabric that I really, I don't know, I liked the floral piece on it. And I don't know why I went and just cut it out with my scissors. I normally, I don't like the straight lines of fabric. I usually always rip the fabric and want it to have, you know, kind of be frin frins fringy and frayed at the ends or at the edges. So don't quite know what I did there. I went and ripped it. Um, but trying this out, um, I don't have any green in the piece, so I just decided, ah, I think I bet, I think I'll go with this chevron piece. Um, still not completely happy with that, but, um, I didn't have, I didn't have any more fabric, um, at my disposal. So, now I'm just trying out auditioning the picture, um, trying to figure out which way I want it to go. Um, cut out this girl. This is from a 1964 yearbook, so pretty cool. I have a nice little collection of yearbooks. I love, love, love using yearbook photos. Just kind of futzing and putzing now, trying to figure out. And I just, I should just try not to overthink it too much. You have to audition things a little bit, but then eventually you just kind of have to go for it. So I decided, okay, let's just glue her down. Let's get that past there. Glue her down. Looking at it, thinking, how's it look? <laughs> I like using fabric in my collages because it just adds a little extra interest, some texture, something that comes up off the page. Um, yeah, so. Normally, I would staple this down with a stapler and, and be done with it, but of course, I didn't have my stapler um, convenient, so I'm just using Crafter's Pick, the ultimate glue.
And then I'm taking my Stabilo all to outline the girl. Um, hindsight, I should have outlined her even more and made her a little bit darker. Because on camera, you know, it still doesn't show up the outlining very well. But that's okay. And then I'm just making some squiggly marks just for added texture and interest. And then a wet brush to kind of activate the pencil. I want to bring in some more white. Lots of drying in between layers and things. So I'm gluing down the words now. According to our books, this account is now past due. May we have your remittance? It's kind of like Maybe life saying that to you or something. I don't know. I just, I thought it kind of, you know, it spoke to me. And it doesn't have to make sense, you know, the words that you put in your journals. It's only for you. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. It only has to make sense to you. So... using a sharpie there and I used the white pen so first I tried a white china marker that didn't work so then I used a an old um, Signo white a uniball Signo white so just eyeing it there makes me happy it's nothing special I shouldn't say that but you know I say oh it's nothing special but it's just me I love old photos so I always incorporate old photos into my art I've done that for a long long time and uh, I really love the cardboard it gives great texture to items so once again guys thanks for staying till the end i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you next time thanks so much guys